Uh, oh, oh my goodness, it's that time again. GP, where are you? <laughs> He's up here, Happy. Oh, oh my, oh, I'm under control, I'm under control. Hi there. I was just checking out something on my map. You know what a map is? It's kind of a drawing of where everything is, and when you learn how to use it, it will tell you where you are and where you're going. Oh, I know where you are right now. You're here, right in front of your television set. And if you want to go to the refrigerator in the kitchen for a glass of milk, you'd go this way, or maybe this way, or, well, you know where your kitchen is. You don't need a map for that. But if you wanted to go someplace you'd never been before, a map would be a very handy thing to have to get you there, to help keep you from getting lost. Now, Hammy Hamster had never seen a map. That is, he hadn't seen one until now. Now, just while Hammy was in the middle of breakfast, <laughs> he heard that sound again. And you know what that sound means, don't you? That's right. It's that crazy guinea pig, GP, the mad driver, bent on delivering the morning mail. If he ever gets here, of course. Hey, whoo! Hey, watch it, watch out. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Why do I drive so fast? I can't stand it, I, I, I can't look. I scare myself, oh my goodness. Oh, I, I think I hear, hey, it's GP. Mail call! Mail call! Well, come in. Come in, GP. Come in and have some tea. I don't mind if I do, Hammy. And how about some breakfast while you're at it? Smells so good I just can't say no, even if you haven't asked me yet. So, uh, go ahead and ask me. Hammy was a very polite host. Well, would you like some breakfast too, GP? Don't mind if I do, Hammy. Don't mind if I do. So Hammy served GP some breakfast, and they sat munching until Hammy asked, I, I, I hate to bother you while you're eating, GP, but is, is there any mail for me this morning? Mail? Oh, yes, the mail, yes. That's why I came in the first place, isn't it? Okay, Hammy, uh, I am very forgetful these days, aren't I? Well, I is there any mail for me? Oh, oh, for you. Oh, ha, ha. Let me see. You're hammy, aren't you? Ah, oh, yes, yes, indeed. By Jove, there is. Wait right here. Don't go away. Uh, just hang on now. Oh, boy. GP's got some mail for me. I, I can hardly wait to see what. I, I guess this is mail, hammy. It's, uh, it's got your name on it. Look, there's a note on top. Read that first. Uh, you can read, can't you, hammy? Of course you can. Read that first. Together, they wrestled the note open, and hammy read. If this paper you'll unfold, a pot of gold you will behold. But if at first you do not see just how this gold will come to be, take what you find and count to three and plant it by your favorite tree. Oh, my. Well, what are you waiting for? And Hammy started digging in the box. There's nothing in here, GP. How about that, that bottle there? Oh, you mean this bottle? Oh, yeah, that's the bottle. That's what I mean. Oh, what is it, GP? What is it? Oh, come on, Hammy. I can't wait forever. I'm hurrying, GP. I'm hurrying. Oh, Hammy, look. It, it's a map, a treasure map. Look, here's the gold. All we have to do is follow it until we find the sign that says, Dig here. Oh, GP, you're so clever. Let's pick up Martha and we'll all go on a treasure hunt. Martha 
was having a quiet morning polishing her boat when she heard GP's car screech to a halt. Good morning, Hammy. Good morning, GP. What's up? Well, the treasure's up. I mean, the treasure's down, down on the ground, and we're going to dig it up. That's what I mean. Come on, Martha. There's gold in them thar woods. Martha was always ready for adventure, so off they roared. As GP drove madly through the woods, Hammy tried to read the little map. Well, there's the big rock, GP. I, I said, there's the big rock. We're supposed to turn here. But GP was having so much fun driving, he forgot where they were going. Oh, there's that big rock again, GP. Come on, GP. Let's turn here, GP. Hi ho for the open road. Isn't that wonderful driving with me in my car? I'm such a wonderful driver. Whoops, did you see that? The tree just uh, jumped right out in front of me. Well, according to Hammy's map, GP, that tree is where the treasure's buried. Do you think you can find it again? Why not, Martha? It's gotta be here somewhere. I just put my mighty brain to work and, uh, there's that big rock again, GP. I knew it, I knew it. That's where I'm gonna stop. Watch this. There, what I tell you? Is this the place or not, Hammy? The three friends looked up at the sign on the hollow tree. Now, this has got to be the place to dig, or my name isn't. Oh, GP, you found it. I've never been on a treasure hunt before. Let's get started. So they got out their shovels and ropes and started in to dig, singing as they worked. It is a pleasure, the looking for treasure. What'll it be? Wait till you see. Will it be gold? Or will it be candy? That'll be dandy. Oh, wait till you see. We got a map, so we're gonna find it. If we get dirty, we won't even mind it. It is a pleasure, looking for treasure. Looking for treasure, looking for fun. They dug and dug, and eventually, they reached something hard. And then, they dug some more, and uncovered an old wooden chest. Hammy was so excited, he could hardly believe his eyes. Oh, oh come on, GP. Come on, Martha. Let's get it up here so we can see what's inside it. But how, how can we lift it up? Well, I think we should put some ropes under it and let the Winchimabob do that part for us, Hammy. Isn't that right, GP? Well, you've read my mind, Martha. That's what makes me so clever. I got that kind of mind. Read me like a book, you can. Hey, I'll go get my Winchimabob. Hang on. I'll be right back. In no time, GP was back with his Winchimabob. Hammy did most of the digging, which was only fair, I guess, since it was really his treasure. But, of course, He'd share it with the others. Soon they had ropes under the old chest and rigged the line to the Winchimabob for the big lift. GP, I, I think the ropes are ready, GP. Ready to go. Is the Winchimabob ready, GP? Are you ready, Winchimabob? He's ready. Let's go. All away, GP. That a boy, winch my bob. Keep it moving. Come on now, get her going. Slowly, the chest moved and creaked up out of the hole. helped lower it to the ground beside them. Let's take it back to your house to open it, Hammy. Oh, oh, Martha, I, I just can't wait. I really don't think I can wait, Martha. I, why do we have to sweep it off? Well, we don't want all this mud in your house, do we, Hammy? So Hammy practiced his patience all the way home. Once they had dragged the chest into Hammy's boothouse, they pried up the lid and were enchanted 
with all the trinkets inside. Look at all that treasure, Hammy. Oh, Martha, oh, Martha, look. And in no time, Hammy was digging again. Oh, boy, Martha, look at all the stuff. This is real treasure, Martha, real treasure. Oh, I've never seen treasure before. Oh, Martha. But well, where's the, uh, where's the gold, Hammy? Where's the good stuff, the gold, I mean? These are all wonderful treasures, GP, and I think it's very nice of Hammy to share his treasure with us. And oh, oh, look, here, here in the bottom. It's, it's a little package, and I think... <laughs> I, I, I think it smells like a seed. Oh, boy, I love seeds. Let me add it. <laughs> Hammy, I think you're supposed to plant it, not eat it. Let's take it outside by your favorite tree and plant it in your flower box. Ah, some treasure. Nothing for me but this old hat. How do I look, Martha? Not bad, eh? Is this a treasure or what? Come on, GB. Let's plant that seed. And Hammy dug a space in his flower box for the single seed. Now, now remember, we all have to count to three, and then we plant it by my favorite tree. Okay, I'll start. I'm good at counting. Oh, yes. Uh, one. Yes, one. Now, what comes next? Let me see. I won't be a minute. Don't help me now. I can do it. I know it. Uh, uh, I know it, too, GP. Two. Well, if you knew it, too, what is it? it it's two. Two what? GP, two comes after one, so when you count, it's one, two... Aha! One, two, and, uh, what's next? Much. Ah, one, two, much. Ha-ha! <laughs> that's it, that's it. Oh, no, that's not it. It's one, two, three. Ah, yes, yes. One, two, three. I knew that. So, now let the planting begin. They put the little seed in the ground, covered it with earth, and watered it with Hammy's watering can. And then they all sat and watched, and watched, and watched. And nothing happened. Maybe, maybe it's a dud, Martha. Maybe we should have eaten it instead. Maybe, uh, maybe we got the counting wrong. Let's see, I started with one, and then you said one, two, then you said one, two, much. Hmm, maybe it is one, two, much. No, GP. It really is one, two, three. Maybe all we need is some patience. After all, most flowers don't grow overnight, do they? Okay, Martha, let's all sit here and practice our patience. And so they sat and sat and sat, and nothing happened. After a while, it started to get dark. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, with all that excitement and all these wonderful treasures, I think I'll save some of my patience for tomorrow, GP. I'm ready for bed. I'll see you in the morning, Martha. And good night, GP, and thanks for all your help. Hammy went into his boot house and up the stairs to bed. As he dozed off, the wind blew the candles out, and Hammy dreamt of treasures and of the adventures of the day. But while Hammy slept, the treasure seed was just waking up. As the full moon watched, the tiny seed burst and began to grow. Slowly at first, then with gathering strength and speed, it poked up out of the earth, stretching taller and taller, bulging the sides of the little garden box. Oh, if only Hammy could have seen it, he wouldn't have believed his eyes. But Hammy slept on, still dreaming. It was that magic time, just before dawn, when the birds began their chorus and the trees began to shimmer in the early morning glow. Hammy slept, still dreaming, as strange shadows played against his bedroom wall. Then, ever so slowly, the tip of a huge leaf crept through his open window and tried to wake the sleeping hamster by tickling him under the chin, but 
Hanny just turned over and slumbered on. Finally, the leaf gave up, waved goodbye, and slipped back out through the window. Morning came soon after, and Hammy woke up and climbed out of his bed. Oh, my, what a strange dream that was. I dreamed my whole garden was tickling me under the chin. Oh, my, and I wonder what's making those funny shadows on the wall. Well, there's only one way to find out. I wonder, I wonder if my flowers are awake yet. Oh, my, that was a very strange dream. Then... Hammy saw the massive stock. What in the world is that? I've never seen anything that big before. Oh, oh my goodness. It's so tall it reaches right up into the clouds. I, I'd better go get Martha and GP. In no time at all, Hammy had collected his friends, and they were racing back to his place in the guinea pig's car. Martha was curious about what the hamster had seen, but GP scoffed. Yeah, it must have been something you ate, Hammy. Plants don't grow that big. <laughs> what a powerful imagination the little fella's got. <laughs> You're probably right, GP. I, I, I'm sure you're right, but what's that? Looks real enough to me, GP. Maybe I ate something, too. Wow, it just goes up forever. A very impressive, hamster. I'm very impressed with your imagination. Looks almost real to me, too. I wonder if there's any gold up there. Now, I remember a story my old daddy used to tell me about a pot of gold at the end of the beanstalk or, or something like that. Look, Hammy, look. As GP spoke, the clouds moved, revealing a golden flower shimmering at the top of the stalk. I guess your old daddy was right, GP, and I guess we'd better climb up there and get it down. But who's going to climb up there? Martha and GP stared at Hammy until he gulped. Well, well, I, I, I know it's my plant, fellas, but gee, it's, it's a long way up there, and I don't like heights. And uh, The way I see it, Hammy, it's your plant, it's your treasure, so you're the only one allowed to go and get it. Now, of course, once you get it down here, we'll all be happy to share it with you. So, Hammy gulped again, took a deep breath, and started bravely up the stalk. Hang on, Hammy. Don't let go. Please, hang on. Go to it, hamster. Don't look down. It's bad luck to look down. That's what my daddy always told me anyway. Never tried it myself, of course. Much too dangerous. The brave little hamster just kept on climbing and climbing and climbing until he reached the top where the golden flower shone brightly in the sun. He pulled himself up and over the top of the stalk and onto the flower, and then... <laughs> he looked down. Oh, oh my, it's, it's a long way down. Oh my goodness, what do I do now? Atta boy, Hammy, is it gold? You found the gold? Sure looks like gold to me. I, I don't know, GP, I, I've never seen gold before. How are you gonna get it down, Hammy? Get it down? What's he mean, get it down? How can I get myself down? I, I wish I'd never come up here, but... Oh, it sure is a great view from up here, isn't it? And you know something? I did it. I did it. All by myself. Now, about getting down. As Martha and GP watched, the flower started to shake most violently. What's happening, GP? What's Hammy doing up there? Well, Hammy must be really nervous shaking like that. Oh, we never should have let him go up, GP. Poor Hammy. Oh, Hammy, please be careful. What was happening at the top of the stalk was that Hammy had decided the only way to get the huge flower down was to chew through the stem, break it off, and hope that his friend the wind would help them down safely. Oh, 
There, I'm almost through. Oh, Wind, Wind, are you ready? Will you help, Wind? Please help, won't you? In reply, Wind helped Hammy snap off the last bit of flower stalk. And using the flower like a big parachute, with Hammy hanging on for dear life, carried it all the way down, 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 until Hammy and the flower landed right beside Martha and the astonished guinea pig. How'd you do that, Hammy? Hey, it's a pretty good trick, if I do say so myself. Hammy explained how he'd chewed through the stem and how Wind had helped carry them safely down. He thanked Wind for rescuing him and then noticed GP looking very puzzled. Hammy, Hammy, this isn't gold after all. It's just a, a great big flower. Never mind, GP. At least we've got Hammy back in one piece. Hammy was exhausted and very disappointed. All that work and no treasure, it, it just didn't seem fair. But all that effort certainly had one very positive effect on Hammy. He had worked up the most incredible appetite. Boy, that hamster can eat just about any time, but by now he was starved. So he nibbled and nibbled on the closest thing he could find, which was the center of the big flower. Oh boy, oh boy, these are good. Oh, Martha, GP, come over here and try these seeds. They're delicious. Martha and GP sampled the flower. Hammy, these are the best seeds I've ever tasted. You're right, Hammy. This is better than gold. You can't eat gold, you know. Did you know that, Hammy? Never eat gold, my old daddy used to say. Of course, I never had a chance to try it, but I bet it wouldn't taste half as good as these seeds of yours. Yes, Hammy. If the treasure had been gold, we couldn't have eaten it. And thanks for sharing it with us, Hammy. Hammy? <laughs> and there was Hammy, fast asleep, curled up in the petals of the golden flower. What an adventure this had been. And do you know what was going to happen next? Well, even if I told you, you might have trouble hearing me over Hammy snoring anyway. But you know I can't. And you know why. Because that's another story.